here with Neil again. Hey. And now we are with the Mazda MX-5 ND. Twirling around Jakarta Selatan. Let's do this. Let's do this. This is the fourth generation. Fourth generation. Of MX-5. The facelift version, the 2019. Facelift version, yeah. So basically it has 184 horsepower, which is not a lot, but considering the weight so through the years, it only increases like four baby elephants. So that's so like what? That's, 200? Yeah, 200 kilos? No, no, not really that you know not really that heavy so it's about one ton probably okay all right so what are we doing here like we have a few mx5 owners behind us yep so we have an na which is like the first gen uh mx5 right behind us and we got the nb is not here unfortunately but we got the nc the third gen and we got the nd that you're riding now okay so this is a few generation apart like uh, it's about 10 years apart. Okay. Yeah, but as you can see, the NA just is it stood the test of time. You know, it, it, it never ages. Yeah. And with the pop up headlights, I think it looks so cool nowadays. I, I mean, you don't see a lot of pop up headlights. Exactly. Nowadays, right? And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they would have kept those pop up headlights if it's not for regulations, yep. right? Yeah. Yeah. It's because of regulation reason on California pedestrian but the body style kept its you know kept its core it's not changing a lot yeah so we we got the uh, soul red uh crystal here all right it's the iconic hero color for the nd mm -hmm. that is actually uh, the na that you're seeing back there is actually the the unos okay so it's they only make 250 of those that is one of those in jakarta with wow British racing green. Ah, uh, beautiful color. Because actually the, color. The, the, the MX-5 was destined to be a British roadster. It needs to feel like a British roadster. So right. it's small, compact, yeah. sporty, agile. Yeah. And it's, it's. I mean, every time you see an owner with an MX-5, they rarely frown, you know? Right. They, they always smile and enjoying the ride. So right. that is what's an MX-5 for, basically. Let's see a little bit of power here. Oh! Power! Highly responsive, highly responsive for what we have. All right, we're gonna do a little tunnel test here. See if we can hear the exhaust. It does sound pretty good though. And this is standard exhaust, right? All right, I mean, gives it a bit of a ring. <laughs> and uh, another exhaust test. Okay. So it's pretty interesting because we have speakers on the headrest Yeah, here. we have speakers for the microphone. So when you talk or when the... When, because it's open top, actually, and there's lots of motorcycle. Oh, absolutely, you know, yeah. You get to focus on these speakers. And like... There you go. Hey, son. I can hear him here. So number one compact sports car in the world. Yep, best selling. Won a lot of awards. Lots of awards, design awards too, mm. yeah. And I think it's the only one in its class, roadster-wise, in Indonesia, that is actually in its class. I mean, there's no head-to-head -head competitor as of now. So if you want a fun roadster, compact, and has a lot of heritage, this yeah. is the way to go. Exactly, not just that, I mean, uh, at a price point that's you know more widely affordable than yep. any other sports car yeah true name me a sports car you can get below one billion with the same heritage reach boy look at this bike such a beautiful weather beautiful open top. weather yeah great speedy cars not the fastest in the world but the most fun hey as long as it gives you a smile right yeah, exactly. fast is not the new token of fun right yeah. now bro hell yeah i mean new sports cars are always going to be faster yep it's you not about that anymore. It, yeah. I mean, with the MX-5, the unique thing is it's never about being the fastest, right? So zero to 100, what's the... How fast does it go? How fast does it go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I no. prefer leisurely, leisurely speed. Okay, I guess, <laughs> okay. You know? But I mean, with the weight reduction uh, for, for this particular model, this barely hits 1.5 ton, so... Yeah. Uh, it's pretty light. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the seats are still manual, I noticed. Yep, the seats are manual, so no... No gizmos. extra pizzazz yeah. that you don't need. Yeah, so if you want to take it out and switch to a Recaro, that'll be perfectly fine. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get to have the, uh, the in built-in mic. Yeah, built-in mic. Yeah. yeah, the speakers, yeah? Yep. 
and you don't have many compartments to put stuff yep. or you shouldn't bring so, too many know. things inside this car yep. anyway to begin with all right let's try a little bit here all right not bad think of the elders mike sorry I mean, for an open top in Jakarta, it does get hot. It does. So yeah, thankfully, the right. ACs are working yeah, well, and it's still not that well. hot yet. And pollution levels look okay today. <laughs> thankfully, you can see the blue skies yeah. a little bit. You can like you can see like like two meters away, I guess. <laughs> So everything is it touchscreen? Yeah, it is touchscreen. We have Apple CarPlay here, so you can access the latest features on nice. your phone. Uh, Bose. Uh, Bose sound, speakers, sound nice. All around. Oh, we got droplets from the bridge there. <laughs> One of the downsides of having an open top in Jakarta is they don't really have, you know, secure water pipes on the bridges. Yeah, so. Wrinkles, yeah. <laughs> trickle, trickle. Of yeah, water. trickling on your head. You know, extra hydration. Extra hydration, <laughs> as if it's not humid enough. <laughs> so, what's the Japanese term again for the philosophy behind designing Jinba the? Jinba itai. So it's basically Jinba itai. the uh, the uh, combination of man and machine as one. Jinba itai means man and horse. Yes, man. Horse. Man and horse. Yeah. yeah. So uh, basically, the car being the horse and the man being the man, of course. Oh, not uh, the other way around. Are you yeah, sure? Exactly. <laughs> Maybe it's the other way around. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I mean, uh, with I mean that that particular philosophy really embodies all of the Mazda cars, where um, the car has to have a connection. That's pretty cool, and that's why they keep it light. They keep it simple. Yep. You don't need all the power in the world. So tell me a little bit about this RF thing, dude. So RF is a, it's called retractable fastback. Okay, and why is that so new in this model? There is a demand for for the coupe version, and the coupe being a, a prototype back in the uh, NA version, and it, it, it was so sought after that on this generation they decided to make a variety of you know the Targa version. Okay. What they call it. Yeah. Okay. But again, the soft top is actually the, the iconic version of it because yeah. it started off as a soft top. Right. But if you guys know the history of the NA, they develop it as a coupe first. So after the coupe, uh, because lots of Americans from the Calif from California uh, in particular likes to have, you know, open top, so they make it a soft top. Ah, okay. Yeah. So RF is actually retractable fastback. And that's, that was in the 2019 model and yep. above, and then, right? Yep. So this run is supported by Speedcrete guys. Uh, knowing that Speedcrete is the Mba of automotive, <laughs> supercar, sports car. It's... So, you know, uh, thank you for, for supporting this Absolutely. run. Absolutely. No, thank you for having us, man. Yeah. And uh, from Mazda Indonesia, we're so glad that a lot of support has been put into this quickly uh, revised run. Yeah. Good horn, good horn. Yeah, good horn, but preferably much more deeper. Yeah. <laughs> but it goes with the, you know, like the funny looking fascia, right? Funny looking fascia, yeah. yeah. So it doesn't take it too seriously. Is it the law that you have to wear a helmet inside a, a convertible here no, in no, Indonesia? No, no, no. The, the thing is, because this is a Targa, it has this cockpit uh, structure. So as long as it has a structure, it should be no problem. Uh, you don't okay. need helmets. Got it. Unless you're just driving a bare chassis, <laughs> you know. Ah, uh, yeah. I see like an ATV or something. If it ever were to roll over, your head will be inside. Ah, okay, this, unless you're really part. tall. Yeah, unless you're really tall, like the guy from Avatar. <laughs> the response is still pretty good. Yeah, no lag. No turbo lag, Yep. just how we like it. Just how you like it. How we like it. <laughs> How I like it, fine. How like it, how Fine, how I like it. 8 point, oh, okay. Satu banding 10. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Not bad at all, actually. You can actually use iStop to get, there's a start-stop feature. Oh, I hate that feature, car. turn it off forever. 
Wah 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 <laughs> so for two grown men, we have to fight for the. Um... Not really. I yeah, think not you're really. Spacious, no. It's because of your wallet. <laughs> it's it's not because of it's my wallet. Spec. <laughs> so the car has a six-speed automatic transmission. Okay. Yeah, and you have your pedal shifter there. I do. Yeah, and I think this is perfect because it was made for Asian body, right? was designed for Japanese people who wanted to commute in style so probably for Indonesian it will be a very good fit for their body yeah and as you can see I mean it's very ergonomic for for the size you know it's very comfortable it's you're not squinching yeah do got sporty seats as well sporty seats and it comes in many different colors you can yep this is one of the premium color. It's sold red crystal. Okay. And it comes with the new, uh, the latest color is platinum quartz. It's a beautiful uh, shade of beige with these pearlescent uh, shades on the paint. Uh, we we call the special paint at Mazda. It's called uh, Takuminuri. Okay. So Takuminuri colors has this special uh, additives and the special methods of painting like for instance the soul red crystal is part of takuminuri paint so it has four shades of paint so it's a very deep red and it's very hard to replicate oh, okay. and i think from the car industry you know when you damage a red soul crystal paint paint in the air <coughs> to fix it you know? okay it's so it's a very hard technique yeah, and the body color goes inside too yep. i see yep. so if you want to like do a little wrapping on the car it's a pain for you to get all yeah, the reds yeah, right yeah, yeah so you just gotta this this came with the uh, exterior color too yeah yeah, so yeah, yeah. It, no matter what you choose this is going to be the, the uh, same as the exterior same as the exterior color so what's your favorite color from the mazda lineup um well i'm pretty uh, conventional guy i'd still go with black black yeah jet black yeah yeah sure. silver looks good yeah classic yep uh, so it represents the model as well since it's been around for some time yep yep pretty iconic so what's the for us to join the club basically you got to get one of these cars uh what's the on the road price so on the road price for the mazda mx5 790 million okay 900 uh on the road that's an on the road okay yeah that's so, with like the basic options or uh, we only have two options one is manual transmission. It comes with a manual transmission. Okay, that's so, cheaper. Yep, the first delivery is going to be on January. And they ready ready stock or uh, you, you got to order, order it, it first? Okay. Yeah, uh, because manual transmission is for people who who are purists. Manual transmission is seven hundred eighty nine. Oh, okay. So it's not too far off. Okay, and the and what's the lead time if you were you want to order like a special color or? Yeah, you can order special colors, takuminuri colors. Uh, you can go through our website. Uh, MazdaIndonesia.com and you can just browse around and build your car there. Oh cool. Yep. And the lead time is how long? I mean depending on the options that you're getting but uh, it should be pretty pretty doable. You get warranty right? You, you get warranty. Yeah. Like is it three years? Five, five years? years? Five years? Yeah. It's called my Mazda. It's a five-year warranty. It's inclusive. Unlimited miles? Uh, 150,000. Okay. Or uh, five years. Or five years. Whichever comes first. Whichever comes first. So, thank you guys for joining. <laughs> Next time you're gonna see us arriving at MDC, I guess. Yeah, hopefully so, yeah. if we ever get there. But Armor to traffic, but anyway, we're having a good time. Open top. Weather is good. Weather right? is good. The car is good. Thank you so much for having us. Hopefully we can test this car, you know, on a medium term uh, test drive for a few days. But we'll settle that after the event. Then we can really test this car. Right. Thank you for joining, guys. Thank Lots you. Lots of honking around. <laughs> yeah.